Hi everyone, this is Rishwant here. Today I am back with a new episode and it's story time. It's the story of the country mouse and the town mouse. Come on, let's zoom in. One day, a town mouse visited the country mouse for lunch. The town mouse rang the bell when he arrived. Ding, ding. When the country mouse opened the door, she was glad to see her cousin. She said, My cousin, I am so glad to see you. Come, let us have breakfast. They had a corn for breakfast, wheat stock and refreshing cold pure water. They sat on a rock and told their stories for hours of their lives. And when it was night time, they slept under the starry night and were awakened by the gentle light from the sun. They continued talking over breakfast until it was time for the town mouse to leave. The town mouse said, My cousin, thank you for the lovely time. Why don't you come and spend with me in the town with me? The country mouse was so impressed by the stories that she was readily agreed. She was ready and said, Let's go! And put her hat and back. They both left to the town together. When they reached the town mouse's house, it was afternoon, 2 o'clock. And they were both very hungry. The left of food by humans aroma came into the country mouse's nose. She smelled the lovely aroma and ran towards it. The town mouse shouted, Watch out for the cat! Cousin! The cat said meow. The country mouse ran back to the hole very scared. And when the cat was gone, the country mouse tried to get to the food again. The town mouse shouted, Wait for the servants and the house dogs to pass. The country mouse was scared and ran back to the hole. They saw a parade of servants followed by the house dog. They saw the servants cleaning the table and there was nothing, not even a small candy. The country mouse picked up her hat and bag. She said, My cousin, it is so happy, I admit, in your luxurious town life. But I am humble in my humble country life. That may be simple food, at least I can enjoy it. And I will add security. And so the country mouse left, not even feeling envious about her cousin. So the moral of the story is, do not be greedy for money, things, toys, etc. And be humble with your own town, things and money. Even if you are a poor family. So today's episode ended. Hope you had fun. Subscribe for more awesome videos. For now, bye. My video is wrapping up. Don't forget to hit the bell and leave a like on this video. And subscribe for more awesome videos. Now bye.